Hi, Jeevan again. Today I'm going to start up the session for 2D animation. This will be the series and in around 10 to 12 classes, I'll be teaching you different ways of animation and what considerations you have to do for animation or animation in 2D. What you need to do is, again, you have to go to Adobe Master Collection. In that, you can open Animate CC. I'm going to train you on Animate CC itself. One thing what you need to understand in 2D animation is uh, that's a very powerful software. And if you learn that software, you are able to animate anything what you can imagine in two dimensions. That's X and Y axis. Okay. This basically helps you more into creating digital advertisements, whatever we are seeing nowadays in uh, your WhatsApp, your Instagram. Okay, all the digital marketing can be done in this. Uh, you can create animated movies also, the cartoon movies, uh, the educational series, WBTs, that's web-based trainings or CBTs, computer-based trainings, those things can be created in this. Now let's start with today's session. I'm today going to cover up uh, the interface, how it looks, and I'm going to show you how to create basic shapes and how to manipulate those things. Okay, so let's begin. When you open Adobe Animate CC, this is the screen what you get. And what you need to do is you have to come to the center section into what you have to do is you have to open Action Scripting 3.0. When you click on to this, this is the screen what you get. Okay. Now on the left, you have the toolbar, which we are going to use it for different uh, designings or animation. This is your stage where all the performance will be done. This is your timeline window. With timeline window, you have the layer which is attached to single tracks. So this particular track is associated with this layer. And if you're adding one more layer on top, you have a different track for that. Now these tracks is the accumulation of frames or the cell, what we call it, okay? If you go in window and in that, if you're clicking properties, that's control F3, you get the property window. Now this property window is going to reflect all the properties of the object what you're selecting. Now, because there is no object, you can see the property of the stage. In the property itself, if you'll see here, this, this is your FPS, that is frames per second. That is in one second, you are going to play 24 frames in one second okay the size of the stage is uh, 550 by 400 now this is very important before starting any of the project you have to change the size according to your requirement now if it's an, uh, an advertisement for Instagram it's a it's an advertisement for Facebook or it's a presentation so sizes will differ you need to understand that you need to take care of that and change it now at present I'm going to take it 1024 by 768 okay so this is the size of the stage okay bottom what we have is the stage color if i want to change the color i can change it from here itself see whichever color i'm going it's going to reflect that at present i'm going to keep it white let's see okay so this is the basic thing what you need to consider when you're working with uh, your animate cc Let's start with the basic shapes. The, in the toolbar itself, you have the basic shapes. Here you have oval, you have polygon, and you have rectangle. So I'm going to teach you from the oval. When you create an oval, it is having two elements in it, the stroke and the fill. The stroke is here and the fill is here, okay? Now, very important thing, what you need to understand in this is, it's very easy to separate both these things. Now, when you click on the fill, that gets selected, but stroke is not selected. What you can do is you can drag it out and you have fill as a separate element and stroke as a separate element. And if you want to separate the stroke, go on to the edge of the stroke, click and move it. You can delete it, you can keep it. But if you want both the things to be moved together with this tool, double click on it, okay? So once you're double clicking it, you have both these objects, both these elements selected and you can move it. 
Next to that is your sub selection tool. Now, this will help you to select your object in the form of a vector or you can select the anchor points. Okay. Now, why do we need anchor points and what we can do with the selection tool? Let's take it from the selection tool here. Selection tool, if you take it on the corner and pull it, you are getting the change in the shape and this extrusion. Or whatever you are pulling is soft okay so this way you can change the shape and create the shape as per your requirement but sometimes it happens I don't need to pull the soft end object I need angular one or it should be more pointed so that time I need to press alt key on the keyboard so press alt and pull it out once you're pressing alt and pulling it out you get this angular extrusion okay so this is how you can work it out further very fine refinement if you have to do then you can take sub selection tool when you click on the object you get this ang uh, anchor points when you get this anchor points you select and you can change the shape with this you have sticks also we have seen that in illustrator these sticks are called handles and you can easily manipulate or change the shape of the object further okay now this is how you can basically change the shape and create an object if i want to change the color of the circle the fill inside click keep it selected come onto the color and click you get the color change if you want to change the stroke select only stroke or select complete object and click and change the stroke so you are able to change the stroke okay this is there now very important thing I would like to explain in this is flash is basically a vector based software okay the graphics whatever will be created in this is vector based so when you're zooming it you get clarity and you do not get the pixelation on the edges but there is very important thing what you need to understand while working on the flash is see whenever you're creating an object the toolbar itself has some properties which is shown down so if i'm creating ellipse or i'm creating rectangle or i'm creating polygon whenever i'm creating this option is off that's called object drawing okay now if this is off and i'm creating any of the basic shapes or any of the shapes without this active without this object drawing being active this will react as if it's a raster object okay you can easily change the color on the sections by selecting a portion and changing the color the way i'm doing it here okay but if you feel like uh, you need the elements or the properties of a vector so that it does the uh, when there's an overlapping there is no embedding which happens so what you need to do is take the object Put this on object drawing and create your elements whatever you want to create now because this is active because this is active object drawing if I create anything on this I can easily change uh, easily move it without disturbing the rest of the things okay so this is very important thing what you need to understand while creating if at all you have drawn something and you have not kept this as an object drawing and you feel that it needs to be converted into a vector form or an element though it's a vector based software what you need to simply do is group it for grouping what you have to do is control G when you do it control G when you group your object it will react as a vector object so am I clear with this how we are going to make objects in animate CC how I'm going to draw it and next in one video I'll show you how to easily draw some uh, graphics in it so that's it for this video the basic interface understanding and how to draw the object I've shown you thank you next class I'll show you how to do the classical animation I'll explain you what exactly is the classical animation and I'll be showing you how to do it okay so any doubt in this?
please let me know in the comments or you can email me the email is given down thank you